Hi, I'm Brian O'Fallon with Haas Automation. We're on the EC1600 assembly line today, and with me to talk about it, I've got Bob Draper. Bob's the engineering manager for this product line. So Bob, we were talking as we walked up, I noticed so many different changes. The real obvious one is looking at this machine with no sheet metal. Right, without the sheet metal on, you can see everything we did. And uh, we started right at the base. It used to be two pieces. By making it one piece, it's a little harder to make. We got rid of all this unnecessary cast iron for the connection and the pads and things. Uh, the ribbing underneath, we moved all the feet, we gave it a much wider stance. We especially changed it under the tool changer mount. Um, and we, we shaped it in such a way that the, the tool changer actually acts as a dampener. So not only did you tune this, but I think you also moved it closer to the spindle, didn't you? I seem to remember the old machine, this tool changer arm was a lot different. Oh yeah, the arm was, was very big, very long, very slow, uh, it was a special arm. This tool changer is right up a VF6, so the tool changer will be much faster, much more stable. Good. Faster tool change, that's a big deal to the customers. So standing here talking about the tool changer, I keep getting distracted by this. You guys changed the ball screw diameter and the motors, didn't you? Right. By reshaping the base, um, we could put a much bigger and faster ball screw in, and that requires, of course, a bigger motor um, to make the machine faster. Okay. But it's not just because of that motor, right? We actually redesigned the column completely. Uh, we got a lot of mass out of the column, which allows us to move faster under more control. Okay, and we can really see it from over here. Yeah, so we took 3,400 pounds out of the column. Uh, in the old wow. days, we thought mass was, was key, you want a lot of mass, but, but really you have to push and control that mass. And a lot of the mass was up high where it was uh, more, did more harm than good. And so we're able to measure the old machine, see its performance, and then design a new column that's actually stiffer, cuts better, dramatically lighter than the current column. We also made it out of ductile iron, which is much stronger than, than gray cast iron. I mean, it's pretty amazing because you took 3,400 pounds out of it, and the old way of designing machine tools is you just kept putting more and more cast iron until you got the thing stiff, and that's not even yeah. close to how we do it now. So the machine's faster, it's more rigid, as we just talked about. It cuts better, too, which is obviously an, a important thing. You guys redesigned the spindle as well, right? Right. Well, all machines now are getting our next generation 50 taper spindle and gearbox, okay. and it also has a non-contact encoder, which is an improvement over the old Delta encoder, the newest generation of solid state encoder. Much better lubrication system, and, and it works much better in a horizontal orientation than the old one, so we could speed it up from 6,000 to 7,500 RPM. Right, and that's an important point because the standard spindle used to be 6,000 RPM. Now we're all the way up to 7,500 as a right. standard spindle. That's right. Talked about all the performance changes. Let's go look at the machine with the enclosure on because you've made a lot of changes there too. Okay. So I know you guys redesigned all the sheet metal, but as I walk up, it looks very similar to the old machine. Yeah, the basic envelope size is the same. What's different is that the old enclosure had posts in the corners and flat panels. The idea being you could take off a side panel if you wanted. And we found that uh, very few people ever actually did that, but yet it made it much harder to seal the, the enclosure. It was more complicated. The whole enclosure is constructed in a, in a much improved fashion now. Okay, and that's probably why it looks a lot like our vertical panels. Right. You've taken a lot of what you've learned on the VMCs and you've applied it to this machine. That's right. This is something that I've seen you guys take and start to apply to all of our machines, and that's all these really nice operator convenience items. You've got a table, you've got a tool rack, now you've got your air gun and your wash down hose. You've got these all right on the front of the machine. Right, everything to make the operator more efficient, help him do his job. We added the tool rack on the yep, side. Got the There's tool also rack an air gun at the operator door. It used to be you'd have to drag your air hose all the way around. Now it's right, right here as you're loading and unloading your parts. Right. So while we're standing here, I was messing with these earlier. These doors feel better to me. Did you guys touch the doors? I assume you did. That's correct. The doors are improved. Uh, we added the new Haas safety interlocks. We've added a, an exhaust because horizontals really churn up a lot of mist, so that'll help keep the, the mist down in the enclosure. That's actually, that's a standard feature on this machine. That's correct. It's an option on every other machine, but right. this machine really benefits, so we, we made it a standard. Yeah, enclosure exhaust is something that's become very popular, so that's, that's a great fit for this machine. And I mean, the biggest thing when you open these doors is I can't believe how bright it is in here. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, you got four 50 watt LEDs in here. It is dramatically brighter than the old machine. Uh, really and, and again, redesigning the enclosure, we could pack in 
as many lights as we could up in there. And I mean, there's no dark spots anymore. There used to be in the old machine, the corners, there'd be a couple of dim areas, but there is nothing dark about this machine. Well, let's go around the side of the machine and take a look at the operator door. Okay. So the operator door, it looks basically the same, but you've made some changes. The big one is you put glass in this, right? Right, it's our new safety glass, uh, real tough, durable, uh, takes a beating, doesn't haze up from chips like the, like the plastic does. Right, that's a big deal on the horizontal because this is right in line with the spindle. Yeah, so it the, takes a beating. It does, the chips yeah. hit right here, so having glass instead of the old plastic is, right. is a big deal. The spindle, I know we talked about the spindle earlier, mm -hmm. but this wasn't on there. You guys have the coolant ring on this machine too. Right, we're trying to get a lot more coolant right at the tool tip. That's been one of the most popular thing on our VMCs. All the customers, they, they all love the coolant ring. So that's a great addition. Does the weight cover look any different, Brian? Honestly, no. It looks like a weight I cover. I mean, it looks like a weight cover. Well, unlike all of our other leaf weight covers, this one, each leaf is a box uh, with ribs in it. So okay. it, the reality is people have to climb in and out of the machine sometimes to get a, a heavy tool in and out. Yes. And so we've, we've made the weight cover as tough as we could possibly make it to take that beating that a horizontal touch. So you mean I can stand on this one now? Absolutely, jump up and down, Brian. You sure, because you didn't used to be able to do that. That used to be a no-no. No. All right, let's put it to the test. Oh man, you're not kidding. This doesn't thing even, is, it's, doesn't even flex, does it? no, it doesn't flex at all. It's really stiff, really rigid. So obviously you don't want to get in the machine if you don't have to, it's slippery, there's chips everywhere, but if you had to load a really heavy tool, now at least you have an option. Well, that's pretty impressive. You know, you guys have made so many changes, I don't even know where to start, but you've got a faster machine, it's more rigid, it cuts better, that's huge, and you've added a ton of nice conveniences around the machine. Thanks for showing it to me today, Bob. Anytime, Brian.